All right, so we're out here in the garage, as you can see, and um, we had some problems yesterday fishing with this bag room right here. Um, yeah, we were about halfway back and didn't want to go no more, and yeah, she blew up. So we have to take this rack off to put on the other snowmobile that we are going to pick up today. And we also have to clean up our fishing mess over there, get all our ice fishing stuff ready to go pre-fish the Monaco chain for the tournament in a couple of weeks. So we're going to fish it this weekend, probably fish it the weekend before the tournament, and probably the day before the tournament. So, yeah. Let's get to it. Okay, so we got the box off, or the fishing rack, whatever you want to call it, it's back there. So um, we're going to set up, it's actually a hunting ground blind, but I use it for like a shelter, ice fishing. So we're going to set that up, and uh, it's got like some gaps in the windows that the wind comes in, so I'm just going to use some Gorilla Tape, and hopefully seal that up. So let's do that. Take some of this, and hopefully there's enough light in here to see, probably not. So we will get the flashlight out here. Oh, that's not the flashlight. There we go. All right, so you can see there's just these little bungees here, and the wind gets through these little cracks. So they're all over. So I'm just gonna try to run tape on all the edges here, and uh, yeah, see if that works out. So let's tape those up quick. As you guys saw, blind's not going to work. Way too much wind gets in those windows and it's just no good. So, we have a shack. It's kind of a piece of junk. I have a shack, I guess. My dad's got a nice frable one. but So I have this shack. And what happened last year from pulling it all over the road to the lake, they got all these cracks in there. I don't know if you can see that. So... Pretty much it fills up with snow. But we made a sled for it last year to pull it with. That works pretty good. And then the other problem is it's got a bunch of bent poles. So we're gonna pull this in probably tomorrow, try to fix it up and see if we can get that ready for the weekend because Saturday the high is two degrees. So plan on pre-fishing for the uh, on the Monaco chain this weekend. So Preferably, it'd be nice to have a nice shack. So, let's get this sucker out. Alright, so we are behind schedule as usual. Um, we're just now heading to pick up the snowmobile that we can use to go on the lakes to go fishing this weekend since mine is uh, toast. I'm going to be putting a new motor in it pretty soon here, probably this week sometime. But anyways, we got the trailer. I'm going to go pick that up. So we have a way to go fishing because I don't like walking and I also don't like taking my truck. So, yep, stay tuned and uh, we'll see what we got coming on to the new ice fishing mobile. That made no sense, but whatever. I see you, Dare. Where are you? Dare. Oh, there she is. Oh, gosh, we're going off the road. Well, we got her back. The old cougar. All right, well, 
went and got the snowmobile, got that back, figured out that I'm going to have to fix up the old ice shack. So, um, yeah, stick around tomorrow. We're going to organize the fishing stuff, get ready for pre-fishing, and uh, get that shack ready to go. So, kind of a boring day, but got some stuff done. So, let's, uh, yeah, have some more boring time tomorrow. Up North Outdoor.